Hey guys, in this video I'll talk about proof of funds for Australian permanent residency. When is it required and in which case it's not required? How much amount do you need to have in your account? And also which all documents you need to show as the proof. So many people were asking for this information so I decided to make a video. If you are also interested, stay tuned. Hello everybody, this is Shitanshu from Dream Abroad. If you want to immigrate to Canada or Australia without paying hefty fee to the consultants, please visit my channel. I've got so many videos on the immigration process of these two countries. I also upload videos almost every day now, so if you haven't subscribed the channel yet, please subscribe it right now so that you don't miss any of those videos. Okay, some of you might know that proof of funds are required for Canadian PR. You need to have certain amount of money if you want to immigrate to Canada as a permanent resident. Similarly, it's required for Australian PR as well, but in certain cases. It's a bit complicated. To understand that, it's important to know about the visa subclasses 189, 190 and 489. I made a separate video on it. If you want, you can check out that video. The link will be in the description box below. Basically visa subclass 189 is the skilled independent visa. Visa subclass 190 is the skilled nominated visa for which you need to have a nomination by a state or a territory government. And visa subclass 489 is the provisional visa for 4 years. So in this video we will be talking about the visa subclass 189 and 490 which are the two primary visa subclasses for the permanent residency. Okay, so if you're applying for visa subclass 189, evidence or of funds are not required. You can live, work and study anywhere in Canada, sorry, in Australia, and uh, you need not prove any proof, uh, you need not prove the funds, settlement funds for this visa subclass. Visa subclass 190, if you're applying for this visa subclass, then you might be asked by the Australian immigration officials to show some funds. Every state under state nomination program has different immigration requirements and criteria is different from one state to the other. Some may ask for proof of funds and some might ask just for the declaration. Some amount is required in cash and some in liquid assets which also includes the property. So you might have to furnish the property papers to prove that. Okay, now let's check out the visa subclasses 190 for different provinces where it is required and what are the basic criteria for that. This is the official website of the state of Western Australia. So if you drag down over here, you'll find this heading settlement funds. They say if you have, if you live outside of Western Australia, one of the conditions of state nomination is that you have to bring sufficient funds into the state to cover your settlement costs. The minimum amount is 20,000 Australian dollars for a single person, 30,000 dollars for a couple and 5,000 additional for each dependent. So if you are a family of two, you have to bring 30,000 and if you are a family of three people including a kid, in that case you have to bring 35,000 Australian dollars. You will be asked for a proof through your bank statement or your asset valuations. So if you're applying for Western Australia, you have to you need to have this much amount in your account or as an asset. So if you have a property, you can show your property papers to prove that you have the asset. Okay, so this was the case for Western Australia where you need to show this much amount and you have to show the evidence as well. Let's talk about the South Australia. This is another state, South Australia, for which you actually need not uh, show the proof of funds. So they say that evidence of financial capacity is not required. This is the uh, amount which they actually say that, you know, 20,000 to 25,000 for the main applicant, you know, 25 to 30,000 for additional dependent and so on. However, they added 
that they do reserve the right to seek additional information or evidence at a later stage if necessary. So don't take it too casually that they won't ask for it. They might ask for it. Just like the Western Australia, it's not mandatory here that you know they will certainly ask it. But yes, they might ask it. Okay, now moving on. This is uh, the Queensland. So for the state of Queensland, you need to declare it. They have, you know, mentioned it very clearly over here that these are the documents. You need to declare it and you need to give your bank statement as well. So let's see uh, what is the declaration all about. For the, st for the state of uh, Queensland, you need to have this much amount. So actually 30,000 for the primary applicant, 35,000 for the primary applicant and one dependent and 40,000 for two dependents. So in case you're a family of two, you in your spouse, you need to show 35,000 Australian dollars. And if you're a family of three, you, your spouse and children, your one child, in that case, you need to show 40,000 and so on. This is a big amount, I understand, but this is what it is. Uh, they say over here that you, this thing over here, the amount of, of cash funds specified on your form should match your supporting bank statements. The supporting bank statement only need to show the current balance, no, not older than a month and account holder details and does not need to include your whole transaction history. So one month bank statement is required. The other funds component generally only includes asset that you hold overseas. This does not include furniture and clothing. So it's important to notice here that you need to have 15,000 in cash in your account and 15,000 can be the other components like your property or maybe your car. Similarly, 15 to 1000 cash. So 15,000 cash is mandatory if you want to apply for Queensland. And of course, this is the other component that you should have as the asset. Okay, now moving on again. This is the state of Victoria. So for Victoria, what you need actually is that when you they say that when you immigrate to Melbourne, you need to ensure that you have enough financial resources for you and your family members. So you need to have 30,000 for the individual applicant, 35,000 if uh, for one additional applicant and 40,000 for your, if you have one child as well. So this is the amount for uh, the state of Victoria. However, they say that this is only a declaration if you just check out over here the required documents. They don't ask for any document for this one, any proof for this one. So for the state of Victoria, they don't ask for any proof. But yes, they do suggest that you should have this amount, of course, because if you don't have this amount with you, then it would be very difficult for you to settle in Australia in the initial days before you get your job. So guys, in this way, uh, you can check out the details for each of these uh, states and you know, determine how much actually amount would be needed for you to show us proof of funds and how you can manage and you know what all conditions should be there in your particular case because every case would be different. If you want, I can provide the link to all of these pages in the description box below so you can, you know, dig into these pages and check out the details for yourself. And uh, apart from that, all the best uh, for your application. I just hope that uh, you have a better understanding of this proof of funds for Australian permanent residency now. Thanks for watching. If you have any queries or doubts, please comment in the comment section below. I would also love to hear the feedback from you. Please like and share this video and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Thank you.